After nearly having my Leica camera stolen in broad daylight in Lisbon a few days ago, I thought I'd make this video how to keep your Leica camera for longer. Hey guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. So firstly, don't let this video put you off. It was probably mostly user error and I will explain. But here are my 10 top tips on how to keep your Leica camera for longer. I must point out I am a model photographer, portrait photographer and I shoot weddings as well. And so I'm used to using Leica cameras in very safe environments. And so I do less street photography. This was me giving myself a project to go and shoot trams and street stuff in Lisbon to test some cameras and lenses and those to come in, videos to follow. So feel free to subscribe. But I'm not a proper street photographer. And so for that reason, if you are a street photographer, feel free to comment below any great tips you have, which I may have forgotten. Let's jump straight in. First tip, if you don't want to have the risk of owning a Leica camera, don't buy a Leica camera. It may sound obvious, but as soon as I tried to buy my Leica M240, even the buying process, someone managed to con me and I lost £4,000 back in, I think it was 2017. Tip number two, at the risk of upsetting some Leica collectors, you could buy a Leica camera and then just put it in a glass cabinet and maybe bring it out on Sundays to polish and it never leaves the house. That's obviously a secure way to keep your cameras, but not really what they're designed for. So for that reason, it doesn't really work for me. Tip number three, on to the more practical tips. Don't carry silver cameras. Try to buy black camera bodies and not silver because silver is like it sparkles in the daylight and all the little magpie type people that want to steal your things, they see something shining and it draws their attention. So. Tip three, try to buy black Leicas, not silver. Tip number four on a similar theme, try to buy black lenses to go on your black cameras. This is one of the setups I was using in Lisbon and it's the silver Fortland Apo on a black Leica M4P. And again, the silver lens seemed to draw attention. So in future, with this in mind, I'd probably try to buy black lenses, not silver lenses, if you want to do these types of like street photos. Tip number five, this is a popular one with street shooters, tape up your Leica camera. Now I've joked about this in the past, but I've never actually done it because I've never really seen the need to. After this shoot, now, now I get it. So uh, yeah, I see why street shooters tape up the, the red logo or the, 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 the Leica font on their cameras to make it look less like alike and hopefully less expensive looking. Tip number six, leave your nice fancy Billingham bag at home and take some cheap looking satchel or equivalent so it doesn't draw attention. I made the dumbass user mistake of taking my Billingham bag and not a cheap bag. So again, it was my fault for drawing attention. Tip number uh, seven, try to dress down and blend into the crowd. I do a bit of running, so I tend to always wear running trainers and I just happened to have bright red and white running trainers with me, on me when I was walking around in Lisbon. Yes, it was great for the 78,000 steps I did over the three days, but it was less great for people like drawing attention. People either looked at my cameras or they looked at my shoes. Either way, they were looking in my direction, which is not really what I needed them to do. By wearing black and more drab clothes, I think you'll blend into the streets a lot better. Tip number eight, carry less cameras. If you see any proper street photographers, they're often maybe just got like one M6 across them or a small little satchel and just really minimum kits. Normally one camera, one lens from what I've seen online. There's me, Mr. Dumbass, with my big rucksack full of cameras and then a billion bag on me and cameras in my hands as well. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm always testing camera A versus camera B, lens A versus lens B. So I've always got lots of kit because I'm always doing lots of comparisons. If you're a normal person, you don't need all this kit. So I would recommend not doing what I do and have one small bag, one small camera. Tip number nine, try to act normal and be normal. Walk at a normal, calm pace, the same as everybody else in the street and don't be like really flinchy and looking a bit dodgy. I tend to walk really quickly because it allows me to cover a greater area. It's kind of the next best thing to running. I just walk as fast as possible. <laughs> the problem with that is number one, you'd probably look like a, a complete fool. And number two, again, it draws attention because fast moving things, everybody else is going at a set speed. And then there's one person in red train is holding loads of cameras going quickly. People's eyes track the, the fast moving things. So be cool and go slow and chill and go the same speed as everybody else. That's a note, a note to myself. Tip number 10, 
It sounds obvious if you know the area, but don't hang around the dodgy areas, especially after dark. I didn't know Lisbon, so I didn't know that I was happening to walk through a really rough bit of Lisbon every single day, multiple times a day. And so even though I was out mostly in daylight, it was still getting the wrong sort of attention. So ideally maybe do some research and then try and avoid the bad areas. Before we finish, three bonus tips. Tip number one, make sure you've got camera insurance if you're taking your Leica cameras out and about, and then at least you're covered in worst case situations. My bonus tip number two is to own some non Leica cameras as well as your Leica cameras. That means you can take your cheaper cameras to the dodgy areas and keep your Leica cameras for maybe the safe areas if you're worried. So next time I'll be taking things like my Kia 4 camera and maybe Nikon SLR cameras as well as Leicas. And that way I don't really need to worry. Bonus tip number three, as mentioned slightly earlier, but just to recap, small black cameras with one lens is your best possible setup in terms of the most discreet and the most stealthy. For me, this is a Leica standard. And in this case, it's a 25mm lens, but I was actually using a 40mm silver lens. So those are my top 10 tips to myself to hopefully keep my cameras for longer. If you think of anything that I've forgotten, please comment them below. And as always, a massive thanks to my awesome patrons, photos and video footage to come from Lisbon in the videos coming up. So stay tuned and feel free to subscribe.